everybody so the, watching to, to go online and read it, I think really tells a story and really tells a, sends a moral message to us all. It's not the first time that Islamic terror has been given a free pass in this country, Terry. We saw the left bending over backwards to bring back the ISIS brides, which they excused as being innocent parties where they went off to marry butchers in Syria and they raised their children to be hateful members of a terrorist state. So we've seen this kind of behaviour before. This is just the first time it has been so confronting and people of the free world are feeling frightened by what they're seeing happening in front of them on their streets, not in the conflict in the Middle East. But I want to move on and to... That's right. And social media and social media is a big part of that. I mean, as you pointed out, I think the fact that uh, uh, the terrorists were wearing body cameras to, to actually uh, capture the images and, and eventually have them broadcast in some way uh, sends a message that uh, uh, effectively, uh, you know, social media particularly um, is being used... Uh, for evil ends and that's something it's a moral question I think that we all have to deal with that includes people like you people in, and me for that matter who who dabble in the media uh, to think about how what what we are doing and what what we are saying what we are showing and and certainly I think uh, our uh, our social media giants uh, including Facebook uh, who uh, we don't particularly like at the moment do we um, Yes, that's need a... to actually understand uh, that they are part of the problem, not part of the solution. Yes, Facebook's making the free press very difficult. As you know, the Spectator's currently on a ban for reporting on Hamas attacks on Israel. But moving on to Victoria, the honeymoon period for the new Premier is well and truly over. She's not Albo. She doesn't get a few months off to fly around the world shaking random hands. The one thing that I didn't expect, Jacinta Allen, would be a dose of Me Too politics, but when the Herald Sun put up a cartoon of her nude on a catwalk, all hell broke loose. Now, surely, Terry, people are smart enough to realise that this cartoon is a play on the Emperor's new clothes, not some kind of sexualised comment about women. Instead, we have Alan claiming that it's not appropriate to depict women in this way. I mean, please. She's not a woman, Terry. She's a politician.